Hello everybody, allow me to introduce you to the Hulk. So the Hulk is a 2006 Chevy Top Kick. This has got the legendary LBZ Duramax engine in it which in my opinion is probably one of the better Duramaxes you can buy. Well, I guess you can't really get them anymore. This is what she looks like. So it opens up like a semi. The hood opens up like a semi. It's got fantastic access to everything. I know it looks crowded, but guys, it's not. This fender, you pull this pin right here, there's a pin. And this whole inner fender comes out. You can access the whole engine that way. It looks really crowded here, but this air breather, once you take this out, you can access the whole top of the engine really well. It's really not that complicated. It's a great access with the hood. All your oils are right here. I actually just put a um, fuel primer on it. It was leaking a little bit. I put that on there. As far as mods, the old Hulk's got nothing other than, it's got a lift pump on it right there. Fast lift pump on it. This is the inside. It's got an air seat, which is awesome. It's got an air horn, which I love. That's what the inside looks like. Nice big dash. Lots of room in the back. That back seat also flips down so you can sleep back here. And these curtains are here for long trips. We pull these across to make it dark back there. It has the exhaust brake right here. It's super cool because you're driving on the road like a semi. You reach over and stops it right down. It's pretty awesome. Got your overdrive here, park brake here. Looks just like a normal truck when you're sitting in it. This truck has 170,000 miles on it. And of course, you probably noticed the custom rack on the top. That rack on the top is 14 feet long and it's got tie down hooks all the way down it to tie down your rides. The ramps slide up underneath it. I hope the sun's on your eyes. The, sun, the ramps slide up underneath and they pull down. I've got videos of it loading on YouTube. Sides fold down. Yeah. and they fold down all the way around the truck and then the second set of ramps they can clip on here so you can load two quads here or quads in the back you can drive a quad on this way and off that way or you can haul just about anything with this truck and the deck is is 12 feet long is this deck and then of course we got our slip tank so you can just access it through here and you got your hose here. If you got a bigger side-by-side, -side, like we have a four-seater Kawasaki and it sits up here. We've actually hauled an old car in the back of this truck once. And this truck also has a full hoist. So check out the access you have when you pop this doghouse thing out. So there's your turbo. You know, everybody's always struggling to change the turbo. Well, it's right there. There's all your RGR, EGR. Oil coolers, crap, that's hard to access normally. Your firewall's right here. Well, I guess it'd be like right here. You can't get any of this stuff. I mean, you can access, I mean, there's all your injectors. You could probably even do a head gasket without taking the cab off if you wanted to, because there's lots of room here. And then you figure when you take that air cleaner off up there, that's lots of room on top of the engine to get in there. There's your transmission bolts. So, I mean, if you're ever doing a transmission, it's super easy to get in there. I need to clean it up in here a bit. And yeah, all you do is just undo those four snaps and then that comes out super easy. Okay, so questions I get asked all the time about this truck. Is this truck fast? Okay, if you're going down a hill, this truck is pretty fast. But if you're going up a hill, this truck's not very fast. Next question I always get asked, what kind of fuel mileage do you get with this truck? Okay, if this truck is just sitting in the yard and you're not driving it at all, it's really good on fuel. But if you're driving it, it's not very good on fuel at all. Next question I always get asked is, is this truck smooth or is it rough? Okay, if you're on like a perfectly flat, brand new smooth road, this truck actually rides really good. But if you're on any other road, then no, this truck is very bumpy. So if you're looking for a truck that can do this,
this. This is probably not the truck for you, but if you're looking for a truck that can haul, I don't know, say this, or this, then this would be the truck for you. Okay, catch you guys later.